So I thought it might be fun to do a short series of videos about my hobby, which is um, flight simulation. In this introduction, I'm just going to say a little bit about what I think might be uh, fun to cover and uh, give you a little tour of my current simulator. <music> Okay, let's get started. I first got into um, simulation way back in 1988 when a good friend of mine introduced me to Microsoft Flight Simulator 3, which by today's standards was a very, very basic program. But it wasn't until 2006 when um, Flight Simulator X, or in fact, Flight Simulator X um, Deluxe was launched by Microsoft. And my wife bought me a copy for Christmas and the rest is history. I have gone through various iterations from a very very basic flying setup with just a joystick to um, to a yoke and pedals then through three four maybe five um, versions of the flight simulator getting more and more complicated each time uh, to then uh, setting up the box room as a flight room and the flight simulator taking over um, the whole room. So I thought I'd give you a little bit of a tour of my simulator as it is uh, today. So the simulator runs on um, two computers. Uh, one computer runs the main simulator, the screens, and the other computer runs the air traffic control, weather, and the panels. The main bit of the simulator is made up of uh, SciTech, well now Logitech, panels, a screen for uh, the gauges, um, some SciTech panels for um, autopilot switches and the radios. I also created a, um, a windscreen <laughs> and a bit later on in these videos I'll maybe go through the four or five iterations of the windscreen and what I'd learned um, to come up with this final version which is made of some uh, polycarbonate perspex. Um, the second computer, the one that runs air traffic control and the weather has its own screen so that I can uh, check on the air traffic control and set the um, radios and what have you and then the main simulator is on a 55 inch TV two monitors turn on their side in portrait and they've made a massive difference so back to the simulator uh, itself each of the computers has um, a keyboard and the latest addition in fact the project over the last week has been a rebuild to incorporate the new uh, honeycomb yoke and I'll say a little bit about the yoke and the project that ensued which resulted in a major rebuild um, to fit it in a later uh, video. So what else I wonder could I cover? I thought I'd say a little bit about add-ons so the, the programs that help the um, simulator to be more immersive or um, more realistic. So add-on planes, the ones that I think um, I would recommend. I've tried quite a lot and I've settled on a small number of programs such as weather, air traffic control. I must have tried five or six air traffic control programs before I settled on uh, the one that I keep going um, back to. And finally, the simulators themselves. So I worked up, as I said, through um, Microsoft Flight Simulator X, through Microsoft uh, Flight. I had FSX Steam. And until the franchise was launched by Lockheed Martin with Prepared 3D. And Prepared 3D, I keep coming back to, is my is by far my preferred um, simulator. Partly, well, mainly actually, because I primarily fly now in uh, VR, virtual reality. And, and I'll say a bit in a later video about how I moved into virtual reality and why I think that is so immersive. And on the full screen, I fly on X-Plane 11 because in my opinion for the full uh, 4k screen uh, x-plane 11's graphics are um, that little bit 
better. I think that's all I've got for you today and um, I'll catch you with you next time.